Twitch of Christian. I'm going to give you guys at least my thoughts on it, on the dinar and just kind of give an update of what I think what is going on with that. I'm also going to respond to some criticism uh, from my last uh, video, uh, Beware of September, October, and November. Uh, as I was going through the comments, it was a lot of people were saying that I was fear-mongering, but I'll go ahead and get into that here in just a moment. If you guys like these videos uh, that I make, um, you guys know that I have a project going on the Patreon. Uh, it's a Grigori animation project, Legends, and a few other, a few other projects. Uh, you can uh, check that out with the Patreon down below uh, in the description of this video. All right, now, um, back a week ago, I posted a video about when things seem at their worst. That was Kim Clement. He talks about the dinar, right? And folks, we need to start listening to what the prophets, what the prophet has said. And he's been right about everything. And here we are. After a new prime minister, months and months and months down the road, and a lot of people thought that the dinar was going to revalue, that they were going to make changes in the government, get rid of the corruption, but they are all still in the same place. And now they're talking about, you know, doing early elections. See, folks, Iraq is so messed up. You cannot take anything that they do positively and think that they're going to revalue shortly. Kim Clement said when things seem at their worst. And I've described that in that video, when things seem at their worst, right? Going by what the prophet is saying. And I've told you folks before, the Central Bank of Iraq is already ready. They were ready to do what they needed to do back in 2014. There's nothing else that we're waiting on except for when things seem at their worst. He said, when things seem at their worst, I will bring it forth. Well, are we there yet? Well, we thought it was with the virus. We thought things were going to get really bad. But yet, some of the other things that Kim Clement talked about did not come through, and that's the banking crash, right? We still haven't seen, he said that the, that God was going to cause the banks to crash, 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 right? So the whole entire banking system has yet to fall, all right? We're also looking for the Dow to be right at 20,000. During all this time when things seem at their worst, uh, basically what Kim Clement said that there's going to be a war, and it's going to be a short war with Israel, uh, Iran, Israel, and Russia's involved, and some of the other Middle Eastern countries are involved. And I discussed about Saudi Arabia, and that's why some of the reasons why Zion Oil and the United States oil markets are going to take off. Now, of course, I don't recommend investing in the oil companies right now, except for Zion Oil, only because the United States oil companies right now there's a lot of uh, companies they're doing reverse splits uh, because of the holdup of the oil and everything that's going on they uh, a lot of companies are filing bankruptcy so after all of this so after we get through the next couple months I can really see uh, getting back into the oil industry after this takes place or right at the moment it takes place because the moment that I see that the infrastructure in Saudi Arabia, the oil is no longer. You best believe that I'm going to be looking at the oil companies here in the United States. So people, we're, we're not we're not looking for any of those things. And there, during this time, you know, I just been concentrating on how can I get more dinars, how can I get more Zion oil, how can I get uh, more BBB stock, right? Because those are the things that sure. Yes, you can make money off of gold. But I will tell you this, if you if you were to take two thousand dollars, put it in the gold, even if it ran up to even if it ran up to twenty thousand dollars. Right. Which is a, which is which I have posted uh, a lot of videos uh, about gold. And I did that all throughout 2019. And I feel like I don't have to sit there and make a whole lot of gold videos, but I will make one about the gold standard uh, coming in October. And I, I've read the article. I've di I've digested the article. And I'm going to go over it uh, at a different time. But folks, even if it did run up that much, the amount of money that you would put in the, in the gold and put into the dinar, which is going to bring you better value. Now, of course, gold is going to go. It seems like right now gold is going up before any type of revaluation. So, yes, you can make some money off of gold. But Kim Clement said don't rely on gold too much, right? So you can make money, 
But I think a lot of people are going to end up getting stuck with their gold. Just like people get stuck with stocks. You know, they see a stock go up. They buy into it. Next thing you know it, it goes back down. If gold hits 10, 12, 15,000, do not buy into gold. All right, because right now it's profitable. At some point, it will not be profitable to have gold because eventually if this gold standard comes through, what's going to happen is is that the people who bought at 15,000 bought a whole bunch of gold at 15,000. Now, in order for, for the gold standard to work, it has to be at a lower price. Gold has to be at a lower price. One, because gold is used in manufacturing. Uh, but in order to do the gold standard correctly, you're going to have to have some type of middle ground when it comes to the gold. And it, and it can't fluctuate a whole bunch in order for the gold standard to work with our economy. That's just my opinion. I'm not a gold expert, but that's just the way I see it. So we still haven't seen when things got when things seem at their worst. And if you guys want to go back and watch that video and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the other thing I want to respond to is to beware the prophetic alert. Beware of September, October, November. Now, folks, I've been saying that there's only three months left in the elections and a lot of things can happen. They do not want this person to be in the president's in the Oval Office. And also a lot of other countries do not want him to be like China, Russia and a few others. A few other major powers do not want him in office and they're going to do everything they can to get him out of office. And so we see that already in a lot of different things. Now, um, and a lot of people say that I was fear mongering. Uh, I said, but you know what? If, if I don't post this stuff, if I don't show you guys, then I wouldn't be doing my job as a watchman because I feel like I'm a watchman and that I'm looking for certain things uh, to happen, to occur, uh, whether it's through other people's dreams or visions or through minds or through prophetic words. But we saw what happened with the whole Floyd incident. Well, what's going to happen if you have two or three of those? What's going to happen if something even worse comes and where you got millions of people out in the streets? You just don't know. And that's why the prophetic word is there so that we can pray, right? So that we could pray to try to either avert the disaster or lessen the impact of the disaster. Now, one of the other things that I did get criticized for on some of the comments on this video was about Chinese troops being on the ground. And you guys have to understand the relationship between the previous administration and the Chinese. All right. And I'm going to show you and then I'm going to leave it alone. And people say, oh, Chinese troops will never be on the ground while Trump is the president of the United States. And I'm going to show you this article. I'm not going to get into it. But grand jury charges UC Davis researchers with visa fraud and concealing her membership in the Chinese military. All right, folks. So. That's number one. OK, article number two, Chinese military infiltrating U.S. colleges. Federal officials say China is engaged in a concerted effort to seed American colleges and universities with members of the People's Liberation Army, according to federal officials who unveiled a clutch of visa fraud cases. I'm not going to get into the whole article, but I'm going to say this. They are already here on the ground. The Chinese troops are already here. They're already here. Yes, some of them are in researchers, but also, too, if they're sending people here as college students. Look, you, you folks, there's there's you have to understand what Kim Clement said. He said that the United States would be trying to be brought down from within. All right. And even during I think it was during the uh, when uh, the Obama was president and they talked about. Uh, the Ferguson thing, and they were actually saying that there were uh, Russians there at the protest trying to incite because they said that uh, Russia and Chinese troops would be on the ground here in the United States. So, so that is already taking place. That has already happened. They are already here. You know, to a lot of the criticism that I got, I saw some of those nasty comments. Uh, they are already here in the United States. What their plan is and how they're going to execute things, I don't know. But this administration is on top of that, right? Because the previous administrations allowed this to go on and possibly on purpose. 
All right, so I'm gonna go here and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put what I just showed you in this. Okay, I'm just reading the headlines. More than 10,000 assault weapons parts headed to Melbourne seized by border protection. 129,000 of assault weapon parts from China intercepted by federal officials. All right. All right. So let's put two to two together. Right. You have Chinese troops already here. And then now they're trying to get weapons in the United States. So you send them in parts and then you put them together at a later time. So I think we'll find out more later on what's going on with that. Uh, there hasn't been too much information about uh, all the people behind that. But uh, I will say this, that they are already here. And possibly if this if these were intended for those military people sounds crazy. But let's just wait to see how it all uh, pans out. Right. And hopefully nobody gets hurt uh, when all this stuff takes place. And then I do want to say this about Mr. E, because I think a lot of people don't really understand. My, many people think it's just Democrats that are involved. And I know from all my research and, and digging deep into it, I listen to what the victims are saying. Right. I'm not necessarily looking at what C CNN and the mainstream media. All they do is try to protect these individuals because true journalism, they used to go after these people. For stuff like this because it was a big story but uh, because mainstream media has become an opinion piece uh, you're not going to see those reporters asking all these people all these Hollywood stars what was going on on the island all right but the other thing is too is that remember a lot of the stuff that was going on with Mr. E was happening between in the 90s in the early 2000s so a lot of these people were involved uh, Democrats and Republicans folks you guys have no idea what you guys don't understand is that there are two big Republican names named by the Mr. E victims all I'm just saying is don't think that this is just a Democratic thing it's also a Republican thing when this whole thing breaks out it's going to it's going to affect the political establishment. Now, when the president of the United States was running for office back in 2016, he was saying that it's the political establishment. It's the political establishment. Don't be fooled with the R next to Trump, because what's going to end up happening is, uh, like he said, that he's going to uh, go after the political establishment. So that means not just Democrats, but also Republicans, too. So when all that does come out, you know, some of you like Mr. McCain, some of you support the Senate majority, Mitch McConnell. Uh, but you guys need to be careful uh, in, in your support of certain politicians. Because some of those politicians uh, have been involved with Mr. E. And this, this president of the United States is going to break all of that down. But once again, like I said, when it comes to the dinar... Folks, you guys need to focus on whether it's getting Zion oil, BBB, or getting your hands on uh, some Iraqi dinar. Because Kim Clement said the dinar, right? So that's going to be the best value for your money. If you can still get your hands on some, you may have to call a few places. You may have to put an order in and let it hold in order to get some. But you also have the BBB stock, which you can get on E-Trade, right? That's the cheapest OTC marketplace where you can where it's 4.95 per trade, but he did say BBB. So folks, that's what we need to focus on. We need to focus on those things. Uh, getting more BBB, more dinar. Uh, like I said, you can invest in gold. You can make a little money off in gold, but if you're going to make gold in the short term, make sure that you're putting it up to get some of the other things that Kim Clement talked about. Because this is about becoming wealthy. You're not, unless you have a lot of money, you're not going to become wealthy off of gold. You can make some money off of gold and turn around and reinvest. But right now, as it goes up, uh, you know, it starts getting up to the three and the four thousand. If it ever reaches that high, to me, it's not even worth investing in, because I know, prophetically speaking, and what's going to happen with the global currency reset, that uh, you're going to be able to exchange your dinar anywhere from one to three dollars, and whatever happens with BBB. A mining company uh, that one is going to take off too and I am going to show you a video on a guy 
um, he's talking about gold. But he's saying he's saying not to invest in gold. You want to invest in gold related companies. But I'll show you the guys that video sometime within the next week. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Because even if the dollar does devalue, don't you guys folks know that it's only going to be for a short period of time? Kim Clement's word even said that, the, that this whole transition is going to it's just going to happen. Right. It's going to be sudden. It's going to be it's going to be a quick change. So I don't expect even everything that says beware of September, October, November. And there's a lot of chaos or whatever. To me, a short period of time is like two months. Anywhere from two weeks to two months. That's my short period of time. So even if all this stuff is happening, you just have to sit back, wait, don't freak out. Make sure that you have all the necessities in your home for a short period of time of turbulence. All right, folks, I thank you for listening. The support links are down below in the description. God bless. Stay safe. And with that being said, Twisted Christian out.